Our mission is to grow the best plants possible for the betterment of humanity, say the authors of this vertical farming system. Since 2004, they've been trying to make sure that even a small piece of land brings maximum benefits, and the numbers speak for themselves. Just think about it. The system provides up to 26 crops a year, and it needs only 1% of the area required for conventional cultivation methods. According to the designers, the system is based on aeroponic technology, which they personally developed to supply water to the roots. To put it simply, the roots are sprayed with a special mist, so they require 40% less water than hydroponics. It's also possible to monitor a variety of parameters at any time and promptly responds to the whims of the future crop. At the push of a button, you've got nutritious, fresh forage for your livestock. No waste, all year round production, and 95% less water than conventional fields. Sounds like a fairy tale, but it's already a reality. On the screen is a vertical hydroponic system that will help improve farm efficiency in the long run, which sounds even better in the face of news about meat shortages. Also, it's environmentally friendly. If the feed is of good quality, cows emit less methane. The system is called Hydrogreen and comes in different configurations, for example for 100 or 1000 cows. Seeding, watering and lighting are taken care of by the smart components. Two Hydrogreen units in the starter configuration produce about 1300 pounds of feed per day, while 12 more advanced units will replace about 380 soccer fields. Since we're on the subject of cows, let's talk about milk. Cow's milk is about 81% of the total volume of milk production. And considering that according to the forecasts, the consumption of dairy products will have been increasing at least until 2030, these solutions are clearly fitting. On your screen is an automation system for dairy farming, convenient not only for people, but also for cows. The cows decide themselves when to eat, drink, relax, or be milked, the company says. The iFlow concept is low noise and has an improved aiming system, so even unusual udder shapes are no longer a problem. The system reduces energy consumption by 20% and is extremely simple. All the options you need fit on your smartphone screen. We have an urgent problem we must solve. This team intrigues us. What do you think they're talking about? It turns out that soon, we won't be able to keep food more or less affordable as we'll simply run out of resources. So it's time for a new way to feed our world, or more simply, a new mobile farm. According to the team, one of the problems is complicated logistics chains. It's not easier to establish local production at once in the right place, so, they offer this automated hydroponic mobile farm that saves transportation time, water, land and energy. One farm yields 240 pounds of microgreens, about 120,000 planters, and a germination rate around 100%. It can be used even at temperatures of minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Greens and vegetables are great, but what about something more nutritious? Easy! Norway has come up with a new generation of fish farms. China is also involved in the project, with its representatives promising to build bridges between international companies and contribute to the development within the interfaces of maritime industry and aquaculture. The farm is planned to hold about more than 22 million pounds of salmon initially. It's 1,236 feet long, which is more than the height of the Eiffel Tower. Six tanks have been provided for the fish, and the structure can withstand waves of up to 33 feet, and in the event of particularly bad weather, it rises by 13 feet. And according to data online, the project required about $197 million of investment.
we're still on the fish topic. It turns out that if you work in the field of water supply for private and commercial customers, you can get to the point of developing solutions like this. On your screen is a 12,500 square foot aquaculture farm, which was assisted by the specialists from a US firm. Workers are evaluating the efficiency of tilapia breeding. 242 days ago, they brought the fingerlings here and they grew into these one and a half pound fish. The farm is equipped with five separate recirculation systems and the fish are transported far enough. One lot will reach China just in time for the local new year. The mortality rate in the batch is only 2%, while initially it was supposed to be 10%, so the profits are obviously not bad. Ordinary bridges are boring, so why not upgrade them by turning them into a work of modern art? If you think it's expensive and time-consuming, you're mistaken. For example, this beauty delights the citizens of a German city every spring. The tunnel bridge was built in 2000 for an exhibition. It's 49 feet long and weighs about 41,888 pounds. A total of 2,160 pots were required, and among the occupants of the engineering marvel are violets, lavender, sage, and wallflower. You can enjoy the beauty and fragrance of the flowers beginning in April, and the key idea is to make art, nature, and technology tangible. Here's another curious project a vertical farm that can be built anywhere in the world. It yields twice as much as the competition, it has a unique modular design, and produces quality products all year round. Sounds great, doesn't it? There's a reason Driscoll's is a sponsor. At one point, this company controlled a third of the US berry market. One of the manufacturer's slogans is that a farm is only as good as its equipment. Our smartphones are more powerful than Apollo hardware, so why not apply state-of-the-art technology to agriculture? The final result is a robotic system run by the special operating system Plenty OS, and a special sponge substance is used instead of soil. Cabbage, onions, sorrel, and basil are already yielding good crops. Which came first, the chicken or the egg? According to the calendar, it was the egg. World Egg Day is celebrated on the second Friday of October, and World Chicken Day on the second Thursday of November. And we should thank technology for the abundance of both. Thanks to them, modern poultry farms look like this. The screen shows a solution from Germany, but the company's ready to set up commercial poultry farming systems all over the EU. The German version offers excellent ventilation, easy cleaning and replacement of various elements, as well as automation. For example, if necessary, robotic arms can be installed in the lines. If there are any difficulties, the company is ready to provide support for the project. Next is a no less high profile project. We are offered a new model for sustainable farming. The creators of the system are convinced that it's time to update the technology of agriculture, and robotics and artificial intelligence will help us to do it. The final result is a fully autonomous farm that boggles the mind. According to the team, a 43,000 square foot farm has an output comparable to a classic 1.3 million square foot farm. The robots do all the carrying, planting and transplanting, and it's also much easier to locate these farms close to stores, markets and other outlets. This is a great advantage, because about 40% of fruits and vegetables go bad before they reach consumers. Get ready to grow, the creators of the next product offer, and they mean it. Their automated systems will not only increase yields, but also bring additional profits, quickly paying back the investment. The presented solution is ideal for leafy greens, and it's capable of working in fully automatic mode. 
from sowing to harvesting, you won't have to intervene at all. And the hydroponic system will save up to 95% of water compared to classical methods. As a result, the customer will know that the greens they choose have been harvested within the last 24 hours, not days or weeks ago. The final figure is 2.2 million feet. That's how much greens can be grown in a year. UN statistics state that even before the pandemic, there were about 690 million people suffering from hunger in the world. That's more than 10 times the population of France. So, one of the most important tasks of humankind is to overcome the food crisis. That's why engineers and scientists created these mobile farms that allow farming in any climate. The farm is a container about 40 feet long, divided into three sections. A workstation for the operator, the farm itself, and an area with a variety of equipment. The possibilities are impressive. A proven annual yield per container is about 4,400 pounds of cucumbers. More than 300 different crops can be grown, including medicinal herbs. One container is designed for 10 years of operation, and the plant keeper system ensures easy and quick control even from a smartphone. Why do we need algae? Many of you are probably thinking of beauty products and cooking, but there is a more important application – water purification. In particular, the creators of the Algae Demo project assure that algae will improve water quality, reduce ocean acidity, and at the same time help increase fish populations. The idea of the project is to grow algae in an area of about 107,000 to 215,000 square feet. The location is the North Sea, and underwater drones and advanced software solutions with AI elements are actively used for monitoring and evaluation. The project as a whole is an important step for the blue economy, which includes projects related to the use of the ocean as a key factor in economic growth and improvement of people's lives.